Happy July. So this is actually going to be my uh, third reshooting of this video because first time I did it and I realized that the AC unit was running, which was why it was so comfortable in here. And um, having the AC unit run while I'm doing the video makes it a little harder to hear me, especially, well, maybe even after I get the microphone, it might be challenging. Second time I did it and I realized my hair was a complete mess. So I apologize. It is not cooperating today. And so it's a little bit a little bit unkempt, so my apologies for that. But July is here, June has passed, and you know, it was a challenging month. There were some really good things that happened, some not so great things, but I'm excited to have gotten to do it, and I'm really excited to get to do this um, new month. So how did the June goals go? Well, to, uh, to do this, I will be reading today uh, from my notebooks and such because I wanna make sure that I actually cover everything because if I just do it from memory I promise you I will forget things so first I'm going to do what did I not accomplish or what was just partially accomplished so Wilderness Untamed not done I, I, I estimate it has about another 80,000 words to go and then it still needs to be pen tapped and at that point we're talking about a 250,000 word manuscript so I'm closer uh, and it's uh, I've been trying desperately to shorten it because originally this was a 500,000 word manuscript so I've just split it in half and I think the net and it was originally a Seacombs King so well actually no when it was a Seacombs King it was 750,000 and then I split it and then it was 500,000 and that one became another 500,000 it, it's just it keeps growing so I will find the right place to cut that um, what sleep hid Okay, so technically I could count this as it's done, as I succeeded in the goal, except I, you know, I did finish it, I rewrote it multiple times, got it edited, but then I was going back over it, and there's just some things that it needs a little bit more. So I'm going to be scrambling now to meet this deadline. Then I did not update the law firm website. The, just, it didn't happen. I almost read 15 books. I read like 11 and a quarter. Um, books for the month and one of those the reason I called a quarter was because I it was a short story but it was listed as a book but I read it um, and it was it was it was an interesting read so this is what I read this month uh, vlog like a boss you were made for a god-sized dream if you believe walking on eggshells the subtle art of not giving up mm. this is the only one that I really really disliked and I will not go into a full rant on here but I'm just going to tell you it is pseudo intellectual frat boy philosophy that thinks it's saying a lot more than it is and actually I could go on a full rant on that because it made me very angry um, in a lot of respects I will not go into that here okay also read Alien I read Heir to the Empire book one and, and some of these were, were rereads but I just really enjoyed um, reading them again um, it's been a while. Then Love at First Sit, which that's by Issa Archangel. And oh, I love her so much. Uh, she's one of my uh, Wattpad friends and it's so great to see them uh, with their stories out in the world. And another uh, Wattpad author who I was so happy to see and read her story was Rebecca Skye's Arrowheart. It's just, I don't know, I love seeing people that I know succeeding and doing, uh, doing great things with their stories. Then I also read Dark Swim. That was the short story. Then Meg. Now, I have to, I'm going to indulge just a little bit here. Because... So my sister wanted me to read this book because she loves shark stories. Even though she doesn't like horror movies, she adores shark movies. And Meg is being made into a uh, movie that's coming out in August. And so we're both going to read the book and then we're both going to go watch it. And I can already tell you from looking at the cast list, they're not following the book. I think they're probably merging book one and two together. But they took the Japanese characters and made them Chinese and they changed it. And instead of being a 60 foot Megalodon, it's a 90. But the one thing I'm pretty sure they're going to keep in is this man seems obsessed with breasts. Oh my goodness. Uh, within... Within... <laughs> Within like 40 pages, every woman who walks in, we get the description of the breast size. Like, and they're they're always D's or double D's, and they're and in addition to that, they're swollen grapefruits whose shirts can barely contain them. And it's just like, oh my goodness, are you serious? And then what makes it even funnier is so he gives her all these breast descriptions, and there's no ugly women in this world, let me tell you. And they are all, well, no, I'm not going to. You can guess. I mean, if I, I'm telling you this, you can guess how these women are with the main character. Anyway, 
it was it was just so funny because he also uses grapefruit to describe so many things. So there's this one scene where there are these two women, they're in the, the military in this poker game, and both of them have swollen double D breasts that are hidden in these bulging grapefruit covering tank tops. And then the next scene over, there's a megalodon in the ocean swimming around with grapefruit-sized nostrils, and it's just... He, he has it in, he can't get off grapefruits and cantaloupes. I, so it was, I found that incredibly entertaining. <laughs> On a much different subject, I also read Mastering Amazon Ads, which is a really good book. Both that and Vlog Like a Boss are, are very good books for authors, I think. I d will have to definitely read Mastering uh, Amazon ads again, though, because I don't feel like I really got everything in it. So I also uh, did not live tweet two books. I got several graphics made. I'm getting a little bit better with them, but I didn't get the 10 done that I wanted to. Then, uh, let's see, I didn't build back to the 20 push-ups with ease, which I can do 20 push-ups in a day, uh, but I can't do them all at once and definitely not with ease. Then I uh, did not get all the, I didn't get information on at least 20 novel contests. I got a few, but there's more out there and I'm going to find them. Didn't write the seven letters. I did not complete, uh, well, I didn't finish editing and such with Fracture Perfection. Didn't try making keto friendly sugar cookies. But this is one that I would add in uh, right here. It's a possibly done, but I can't confirm it because I, I lost my sketchbook. I had a, a sketchbook much like this. I'd been sketching portraits and dragons and such in it and lots of shapes and exercises and I've misplaced it. I, I may have left it someplace. So I can't do a final count to know for sure, but um, with what I have in this new one, it's fairly close. So I did not revise the media kit. I did not make 10 pieces of quote art. Didn't play chess. I didn't get the dryer fixed, though I did everything I could. I'm just waiting. There's a lot of waiting. Uh, did not replace linoleum in the kitchen. We just we had medical bills and some surprise uh, bills that came that used up all the money for replacing that. It's okay. We'll do it another time. Didn't reach 5,000 newsletter subscribers, which I'm not really upset about that because the promos that I was going to do, they had to be uh, postponed and moved out to this month and August because of the, you know, the changing legal landscape. So no way to really prevent that. I wasn't aware when I signed up for them in uh, April and May that they were caught off guard by that. So this one is a partial. Uh, I wanted to learn how to make a GIF and I watched how to do it, but I, and I actually watched a couple, but I haven't made one yet. So I'm not gonna say that I've succeeded in that until I can at least make one. I didn't get set up on BookFunnel, didn't go wide, didn't update my blurbs, and I need to do that. I did revise my business plan, and uh, I'll probably be doing that again. That's just a good one to go back over and make sure, am I on track, am I doing what I need to? And that's it for what I didn't get done. So going back to what I did get done for this month, so the 200,000 words, got those written. It was quite a challenge because in the beginning of the month, I was incredibly off on my target counts. There were just so many things that needed my time and I was not able to get in my usual writing sessions, even with the editing. So that was uh, very stressful, but it worked out because at the end of the month, I think it was the last week or the, um, maybe it was 10 days before the end of the, something like that multiple deadlines that I had set out for like mid-July and August, they were contacting me and they needed to rush them in. So it was good that I needed to get the word count up, I guess. But my total was 200,482 words for the month. Then Curse was done, sent off, and Mary edited it. Amazing edits. I'm going to be working through those and making sure that the story just shines. Then, uh, let's see talk to a lot of designers. And ultimately what I concluded is at this point I can't afford to hire someone and I'm not going to not pay them what they're worth. So this is just incentive for me to keep learning everything that I can to do the best that I can. And you know what? It's great to have a diverse skill set. I did build back up to 10,000 steps a day. It took me a lot longer to do. In fact, I only achieved that like on the 27th of June or something 
around in there. I just It took me longer to recover than I thought it was going to. Organizing the office, I made good progress on that. Long way to go. I did master, I think, the 10 new Mayamiya phrases, but as I mentioned, I've mentioned before, it's, it's challenging when you're the, the main one working on it. You know, I, I've tried to teach some other people, but I do, I'm, I'm working off of recordings and uh, books and such, so I hope my pronunciation is correct. We'll find out, and in about three months I'll know whether I've really mastered those ten phrases, because I'll still remember them if I do. Uh, make and release five videos. You may have noticed the big onslaught right at the end. Yeah, that was because I put that off. Actually, I kept making videos and then not releasing them. Partially because I decided they weren't good enough and I really got to work on that just as in general. Started my Tura short story rollout, preparing for the next phase with that since Cursed is done. Had a great reader uh, poll to get a feel for what my readers want. Then I did work out three times each week, and it wasn't always intensive, but it always happened. Journaled daily, meditated daily, read my Bible daily. Then I um, did build back to the 90-second plank at least, you know, got past the shaking arms. Wrote seven devotionals. Uh, this one here, the posting to the website 15 times, this one's going to come with sort of an asterisk, I guess you could say, because the thing was, I wrote, I wanted to write and post my website 15 times in the month of June because I have a bad habit of writing it, of, well, of just not doing it. So I did, but then I had some problems with getting, some of the posts just wouldn't show up. Other days the internet was down and they just started accumulating. So I figured out the problems, got everything fixed and set up and done on July 2nd. So those posts, this is sort of a, uh, but what matters is there were 15 posts that were, were posted um, last month, and they're not going to count towards this month's goal of 15 posts. Let's see. Um, I got 60 hashtags for Instagram, 60 for Twitter. I also got 60 for YouTube because I thought I included that on here, but I didn't. Finalized my tentative schedule to try and make the most of just juggling all of these different things. Fixed the cover for Soulmates. Then... Got the books, the first batch of books sent out. There's another batch that are going to be sent out. That's one of this upcoming month's goals. Revised my bio. It's kind of sad. Um, it was nice to add in the books that are out and done, but it was sad to remove Milana from my bio. But she's been gone for a few months. And, you know, it's just, it's still sad. So um, I also worked on the Turaw maps. Didn't get as far as I wanted, but a little bit of progress. Then wrote 10 poems, uh, watched three new movies and TV shows, learned how to fold a fitted sheet. Whether I remember it, I think I do. Just gotta keep practicing and see. I wrote 5,000 words on Pranima's Prize, 5,000 words on Blue Horns. Blue Horns I'm getting really excited about. We'll see how it goes in the coming months. I did a course on Amazon ads. And again, I'm going to have to take it again. It's advertising. It takes a lot of work for me. I practiced the ASL alphabet 100 times. Um, still have some, some gaps in there where I just have a hard time remembering certain letters. And particularly if someone is trying to sign words to me, it's challenging. Obviously, um, learning additional words and phrases in the syntax within ASL will be beneficial and help with that. It'll make it quicker. But I think mastering the alphabet is a really important beginning component because at least there, there's the possibility for a little bit of easier communication. Then um, did donate blood, which I will tell you, if you are able to give blood, this is a hugely important time to do that. When I was there, they were explaining that in the middle of summer and the middle of winter, or when their reserves kind of go the lowest, uh, at least around here, but probably everywhere, there's just always a need. So if you can, definitely do. Tried a hair mask, which is sort of helped, but it was good. It was olive oil and eggs, and it felt better afterward, but um, I just have all kinds of hair problems, partially because I'm not really good at doing my hair. Did catch up on the gratitude and blessing jar. I found three new YouTube creators who I really enjoyed, got information for the Warrior Dash, uh, fixed my knife throwing setup. Then I adapted the cleaning and chore schedule, got the details sent out for the Cursed cover, as well as the Wilderness Untamed cover, backed off my work in multiple places. Then got the regular posting schedule for the reader group, whether I actually use it, we shall see.
made plans for changes in my anniversary, but we actually didn't really get to do them. We're just, we had to postpone them for a number of reasons, but it will happen. We, um, let's see. Oh, I did do my 30 less French lessons and my AMIA lessons, and that's going fairly well, I think. The my AMIA is a lot more challenging for me. French, I had so much more of a, a, a base in it. And the funny thing with it is I actually originally started learning French because I'd heard that the uh, books that the Miami was originally in were, in were in French too. I'm like, aha, look at this. And it didn't work because my father folks spoke some French as well. But yeah, and so now I, it's, oh well. It's just kind of funny. I need to organize my, de I did organize my desk and I need to organize it again. If <laughs> I, I was joking about maybe doing a clutter with me video where I just videotape or just uh, film work and how things gradually accumulate accumulate on the desk, but I'd have to find a way to make sure that nothing confidential shows up there. I cleaned out the cat's nests, found some things that I've been missing for a while. <laughs> Loki loves stealing my earrings. I completed the self-improvement course. Uh, this one was on essentially working through uh, anxiety, social anxiety, and talking to people, which it's funny to admit that, yes, I, I read a lot of those books. I, I despise chit-chat. Chit-chat horrifies me. And, but I'm getting better at it. I then also, uh, I got the paperback situation fixed with Amazon, which was a huge relief. That was entertaining to get taken care of. Requested reviews, assessed my 2018 overall goals, and I'm pretty well on track. I don't know if I can get all of them done, because again, I set it really high, but I think a lot. Then I did update the website with some pictures. So it's, I guess that's more of a half one. I didn't do all of the pictures and I really struggle with graphics and images in general, but I need to do better. I fixed the Goodreads situation. I set up three book promos. I went over my holiday release schedule. I think I can do it. We'll see. There are gonna be a few hiccups coming up with that. I did, however, fix the blue light situation with my computer. I just switched everything over tonight. And it's made such a difference. Even with the special glasses and stuff, I have been struggling with headaches and so, and so this is a relief. I returned to doing the morning pages. In fact, I have morning pages from, well, actually I had them from all month. I did them all month, but I can't find June 1st through the 4th. Then I did get back into running. I am not fast. I don't have great endurance yet, but I am running. And yeah, I, actually, I also ended up completing some secret projects that I thought were not going to be due a little bit longer and another one that I knew was going to be due and uh, I'll share those with you as soon as I can. So all in all, you know, I got a good bit done this month. Now for July, like I said, you're going to recognize some of these and because I'm going to keep probably doing them each month or increasing them. 200,000 words written, Wilderness Untamed done and sent off for edits. We'll see. This one is probably more pie in the sky hope, but I'm going to try for it. Four stories are more fully edited for More Than Wishes. Uh, revise my basic contract for anthologies. This one is because um, a lot of contracts that I've worked with tend to be very rights grabby. And I'm not fond of that. Even when I'm the editor or the developer of the anthology, I think that the rights to a story really need to, as much as possible, remain with the creator. So I'm just working on some different uh, language and approaches to make that uh, so that the my interests as the uh, developer and the uh, editor and producer of the anthology, I can still have some protection and what I need to do a good job with that, but then I'm not just taking too much, particularly since I can't afford to pay that much. What Sleep Hid, finalized and peer edited. Uh, draft the Suicide Prevention Anthology short story. I at least want an outline and a rough draft done on that. Update the law firm site, continue to work on organizing the office, make 10 new pet toys, uh, 30 Miamia lessons, 30 Spanish lessons, and 30 French lessons. I understand most of, most of the time they say don't mix language learning, but this is part of how I function. And also I'm really afraid of losing what Spanish I have. And there was a time when I was in high school where I was learning Latin and Spanish, French, and I was trying to do Swahili too and some other languages in there while also writing languages and everything got snarled. So uh, Spanish and French ended up being my two strongest and I'm just, I don't want to lose that. But anyway, uh, read 15 books, which none of the ones that are on this list from this last month are going to count, even though, oh, I meant to add that with like, with Arrowheart and uh, Meg, I was, I had a couple chapters that I finished off in July, but 
just going to go ahead and put them there and have another 15 books for this month. Uh, go wide, set things up with Book Funnel, help find the proper stock photos for Wilderness Untamed because it's a very specific request for that, and I'm just going to try and help out with um, proper imagery. Then back off work multiple times, do at least one writing process video, get a new title for The Pirate's Daughter because this one was just a, it was kind of an ironic title and then the story turned out very different. So I'd like to have a better title to encompass that. Finish rewriting, editing, and pen tapping The Para's Daughter. Determine the best course for soulmates. Right now, it's a standalone, almost kind of an individual fairy tale type story uh, about a young woman with albinism and uh, her quest for true love with this uh, necklace because their culture, uh, everyone has a necklace that lights up when you're with your soulmate and she's not been able to find this person. And I just, I want to see if I can fit it into a larger world. I need to update the blurbs. I need to live tweet two books, uh, make and release 10 videos, create a video schedule. And this is hopefully at this point, I know enough to be able to like, schedule upload times. And when does the internet cooperate and when is it likely to go down? Cause I've been noticing I have hot times and slow times. Then make 10 graphics, work out three times a week minimum, journal in the same journal for my tailies. So this is a funny, odd fact about me. I am terrible about writing in multiple books. I, I write all over the place. I have on my desk right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have uh, 11 notebooks plus stacks of paper. And I know what's in most of these, but I just write everywhere and my journals have all sorts of stuff. So if anyone ever wanted to do my biography, oh my goodness, they're in for a nightmare. I actually don't recommend that they do that. So I just want to see if I can do a daily update in the same journal for a month. We'll see. Daily morning pages still. Uh, meditate, read my Bible daily, build up to those 20 push-ups with ease. We'll see what I can do. Continue with the 90 second plank, maybe advance it a little bit. Um, write 10 devotionals, post to the website 15 times, write seven letters, fractured perfection done and edited. Try those keto friendly sugar cookies. Uh, take a design or a Photoshop course, another one, of course, from what I did. Write 15 poems, sketch 15 portraits, uh, fill 30 pages of the sketchbook, which that's more of like shape work and such. When I uh, do these sketches, I'm not at a point where I'm doing scenes and such. I, I'm just trying to, to work on things. So I like filling up the pages as much as I can so that, you know, I get the most out of it. Draw 10 dragons, uh, watch three new movies or TV shows, write 5,000 words on blue horns, 5,000 words on Parnema's prize, make 10 pieces of quote art, and that means settling on which quotes I'm going to use. Uh, practice the ASL alphabet 100 times more, and hopefully that maybe that'll get me past some of the places that I've had issue and keep my, um, I won't be as stiff when I'm doing them. Uh, do one course on ad work. It's one of my greatest weaknesses. Organize the mudroom. It's really just the back porch. We call it the mudroom because we have this industrial mud like carpet that will take off anything. Mud, grass, skin, flesh. It's kind of vicious. Uh, stay caught up with the blessing jar. Then make a TV and movie jar just so that we can, you know, like, oh, I need to, you know, I want to do... Uh, we want to watch something new, but we can't think of which one we want to know to watch because we're overwhelmed. Then organize desk. Yeah, it's always going to be on here. Complete another self-improvement course. Request reviews. Update the website with pictures, which also requires getting good pictures to put on the website. Yeah, I can do it. I, I mean, this will happen. Uh, compile a list of needed items for the website. Uh, some of these I already know, but others I just really need to sit down and consider what what do these other sites have that I really like that I can improve upon in my site and make it more professional and user accessible. Like the menus have got to be fixed and the home page. Mm. I've got to fix those. Uh, write 15,000 words on Red Fire Dragon. I, I have decided I'm calling it Red Fire Dragon instead of uh, Red Dragon. Create a different style video than like these. Uh, fix the YouTube channel, make cards for um, a YouTube video. I've noticed when watching bloggers, they have like these cards at the end that have information. I think that's a great idea. Then uh, organize files and blog posts. I have so much paper and digital clutter. I try to keep it as organized as possible, but I could do a lot better. Then uh, let's see. 
participate in three giveaways or promos, get 5,000 words done for uh, mental health thrivers and fantasy, which this is an anthology I'm going to try to promote uh, if I can find the link. This is part of the digital clutter I was mentioning. I saved it off in an email because I found it while I was on the go. And this anthology is actually going to be uh, looking at the main characters are going to be individuals with various mental illnesses. And they have powers, but the key is that they have to uh, take care of themselves to access those powers. Because currently, I would say the majority of stories that I have seen that deal with um, individuals with mental illnesses, if they're even the protagonist, and oftentimes they're not, they get more power when they don't take care of themselves. So like taking medicine and taking uh, proper precautions and setting good boundaries doesn't result in them become more, empower more powerful, they become weaker. So this anthology is trying to directly confront that, which I think is a great idea. Then I need to set up at least three promos separate from the ones that I was talking about with the, the giveaways. Um, those are That's me putting them together. And then prepare for the August Vita, which is the vlog every day in August. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and prepare and see if see what I can do. Get caught up on my reviews. I have a few that I really need to release, and yeah, and yeah, authors desperately need reviews. So I always feel bad if I'm asking for reviews and I owe people reviews, uh, or I should say, um, whenever I read a book, I try to leave a review. So that's what I mean by owing reviews, because I try not to promise uh, reviews, because if it's well, that's a whole other, that's a whole other conversation. Then I need to uh, get cover for the cover for Cursed, uh, which I think uh, I need to check in with Lucy with how that's going. I need to finalize Cursed, write the back matter for it, and then release Cursed. Then finish up my logo for my brand. I, I love right now what I what uh, Julia has been doing on it. It's going to be so great. Update tax info, always a fun thing. Get business cards. I, I you know I have uh, business cards for the law practice, but I've never created any for me as a writer. So that's exciting. Take a course or some lessons on Instagram. Instagram has always made me very uneasy. Again, it's the graphics and the images and the fact that you have to do it completely from your phone, it seems. And my phone is not particularly friendly at this point. However, I want to learn more and eventually move into that area. I need to set up emails for specific tasks using the website email. So, what, and I'm not sure what else to call this, but it's basically like having a um, help at jmbutlerauthor.com or hello at jmbutlerauthor.com so that I can give people an email address instead of my personal one. Then uh, perfect salted caramel cheesecake recipe. Correct my name on YouTube. Uh, currently it's Jessica Fry, which is my married name. But I do almost all of my fiction work under the name J.M. Butler. And just to make it a little bit easier, and that's kind of the brand that I'm promoting. I have CLEs this month, and I will for the next month. They're continuing legal education, and I think this month I'm learning. I'm going to be learning about Medicare and elder law. And all attorneys have to do that, but they take up a lot of time, it feels like. Then get the dryer fixed, get the sump pump fixed. I have called people. Hopefully they come. One of the challenges of small town living is there are a limited number of individuals who are able to solve problems like this. I also want to make a catch or a lip on the uh, knife throwing board. Currently, it's, it's functional. I got everything taken care of that I wanted to, but I'd like to create some sort of a ledge that the knives can fall onto when I miss, which is still quite a lot, because otherwise I have to go back behind the cupboard and get them. Research the chosen hashtags from last month. It's just really evaluating what's their quality, are they good, what's happening with them. Work on Tura maps, update the Tura story bible, send out the next batch of books and prizes, update and map out the Ragnarok mythology series. Uh, one of the series I'm hoping to release later this year if everything comes together, and I'm not sure that it will, but I can at least do the writing part, and that's the uh, the Ragnarok series, which is a, it's so funny, I was working on this back, uh, I was working on this back before the Thor movies came out, and then Thor came out and now everything has exploded with Norse mythology. So it's just kind of an interesting, it's just kind of interesting. But uh, this series, it, it weaves uh, Norse mythology and Greek mythology and Egyptian philosophy, mythology together in the first book and gradually expands to the world because there's this um, very complex situation as all of the ends of the world accidentally get triggered through the different uh, mythical beliefs and they have to 
well, we have to deal with them, but I need to make sure that my um, general outline and my story Bible make complete sense because I'm trying to merge so many. And I started off with the uh, well-known ones and I'm gradually, well-known I should say to an uh, American audience and then gradually expanding to draw in some that they're not as familiar with. So like Aztec and uh, Yoruba and, and such like that. So, and we'll see, because I may have to cut some stuff just for space and time. Then uh, get the new cover for a little scapegoat, finalize plans for the cover of Mermaid Bride, learn how to create an elegant anthology in vellum, which before I was having to um, design books using other programs, but I really like vellum. I may eventually learn how to do it in InDesign, but for now, I'm going to stick with vellum. Complete four short stories and novellas, uh, swap out the curtains in the entryway, get shelf. This, I have been meaning to get a shelf for this area for so long and hopefully I can make that happen this month because I have a lot of books that need a place to go. Do the other half of learning to make a GIF and actually make a GIF. Update my privacy policy and legal matters on my website, actually on all the websites. All right now I don't think you can even see them um, except maybe the GTPR one. Then fix headers on the website, the main page on the website, it's just, they are a mess. Set up AMS or Facebook ads. I'm struggling with a lot of anxiety with this one. I've done them before and helped other people with them. It's just difficult, for some reason it's just difficult when it's my books and I'm just going to do it and I'm going to make some mistakes and I'm going to learn and move on. Need to contact 10 libraries, learn about their donation policies, investigate details and set up for a possible August contest for authors. This I wanted to do, I don't know if I'm going to have the bandwidth to do it, but I'm still going to do the research because I can set that aside for later for when I can. Uh, prepare the serials that I'm going to be releasing, make at least one more Turok quiz, uh, transcribe two more notebooks, which, yeah, when I was talking about writing all over the place, so I have actually lost whole books that I hand wrote. They are somewhere. Um, I lost some of them in the move and such, or I'll fill up notebooks like this with just writing and then I can't remember which one they're in because for the most part I, I love using these but they all kind of look similar so I've got to do I've got to do better on that so I'm going to transcribe them and then I need to work on a better filing system for my stories because I have so many and I hate throwing away pages and such so like with um after I pen tap a manuscript I'll typically flip it over and I will right all across the back here and I just hate I hate throwing them away even though I get them digitally because it feels like part of my proof but gotta find a better system for that anyway those are my primary goals for the month of July and we'll see how much that get get done like I said it's not a big deal if they don't get done I just want to do the best I can to keep pushing myself forward to these overall um, goals and creating my little empire that will hopefully become quite large. Maybe we have bestsellers and all those wonderful things. But uh, yeah, and don't, and again, don't feel bad. Like some people told me that um, my goal is to make them feel very uncomfortable and bad. And I'm really sorry if that does happen, but you just need to do what will help you to reach what you need to do. For me, having the larger lists and really pushing myself is what I use to avoid slipping into depression over um, some, of the, some of the things that I'm dealing with it, because it gives me something to focus on. So I could probably talk about that a lot longer, but whether no matter what goals you have or if you're someone who doesn't even set goals, you know, it, it, it's, it's okay, you know, as long as you figure out what works for you and to be the kind of person that you want to be. So anyway, uh, if you'd like to share what you're planning on doing for the month of July, feel free to do so. I look forward to talking to you all later and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye.